Weather Authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. We're beginning to break out of this wet pattern just in time for what should be a very nice weekend. And then it turns really warm next week and eventually kind of stormy as we get back into an unsettled pattern starting next Tuesday. But here are the highs from today, low to mid 60s. And in some areas, this high occurred during the morning hours. Tomorrow will be kind of in the same ballpark once again, but with more in the way of sunshine and less in the way of rain. And speaking of rain, live Doppler radar showing the scattered showers now all east of Highway 41. You can see all the river flood warnings here. And there's a new flood advisory for the Rough River at Dundee in Ohio County. It looks like it will be going a little bit above flood stage here over the next 24 hours. So a little rain in Owensboro, but that's all on the way out. And these should fade away in the next hour. We could see a spotty shower or two later tomorrow morning, early afternoon, but nothing all that heavy. But you can see a good deal of the tri-state got at least an inch of rain over the past few days where you see these shades of green. Evansville had right around an inch. The heaviest was down in in southern eastern Hopkins, uh, McLean County, these specks of orange here indicating over three inches. In this case, eastern Hopkins County, north of the airport, 4.4 inches. And in Calhoun, or I should say between Calhoun and Semaway, 4.2 inches of rain estimated to have fallen. Keeping an eye on the Highway 41 southbound Twin Bridge is a two-car accident right here. No injuries, but they're having a hard time clearing that out. So traffic is still at a standstill. Could take a while to get traffic moving once again. So if you're waiting for somebody to make it home uh, on the Kentucky side coming from Evansville, they're going to be delayed uh, because of that. Downtown Evansville, it is a partly cloudy sky right now. Temperature cooler than it has been over the past few nights at this time, 59. So a little breezy, if not windy out there. West-northwest wind at 9 miles per hour with temperatures now in the well, generally mid to upper 50s. We're going to fall back into the mid-40s by daybreak tomorrow morning. More than kind of the back side of this system that did produce more severe weather today in the upper Ohio Valley, mid-Atlantic states, but we're going to get this system almost out of here. There's one more impulse that's going to come in from the northwest later tomorrow morning. We'll have a little cloud cover with it and maybe a spotty shower. You can see that here on Future Tracker, 11 a.m., a few showers coming on in. They quickly clear, and then we should see a clearing trend tomorrow afternoon, which again will be very windy. Some gust up around 30 miles per hour with high temperatures generally in the low to mid 60s forecasting 65 for the Evansville Metro. We clear for tomorrow night, low 40s to kick off our weekend on Saturday, which will be a beautiful day. Mostly sunny skies and warmer highs into the low to mid 70s. We'll pick up some clouds Saturday night into Sunday morning and could see a spotty shower mainly in western Kentucky later in the morning. You see here at noon, a little cluster there right along the western Kentucky Parkway. Sky should brighten up some in the afternoon and temperatures turn even warmer. Uh, upper 70s for the high on Sunday, but scattered showers now off to the east will be ending overnight. Still kind of windy, uh, mid 40s, and then variable clouds tomorrow. Maybe some spotty showers uh, late morning, early afternoon. Very windy again, low to mid 60s. Sunshine on Saturday, we're up to 75. Mix of sun and clouds Sunday, 79. 83 on Monday. Looks like at least four days in a row in the low 80s next week, but we're already outlook for a slight level two threat for severe storms late Tuesday into Tuesday night. It looks like a weakening line of storms coming our way. So the cold front never gets through. And then the cold front, another one makes a run at us later Thursday into Thursday night when more storms are possible. And again, the potential for a little bit of severe weather. All right, thank you, Wayne.